know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm good, yes, I'm dead. Most of the things I don't wanna say. Hey you guys, welcome back to Taylor XO or welcome to Taylor XO if you are a new subscriber. So y'all, let's get into this video because I really wasn't going to do this video because like I said, I know a lot of people like to always say that everything is nitpicking and that reactors just, you know, try to push something on people that's not really true. But like I always say that and I always put a disclaimer in the beginning of my videos, you know, everything I say is all alleged and uh if you guys decide to take it for what it is and say that I'm making up lies when I'm already saying that these things are all alleged, then that's on you. But let's get into this video because I don't know if anybody watches a certain reactor, uh, but Jazzy decide well, Jazzy has came up on this reactor's panel a few times. And originally this reactor, when Jazzy came up on this reactor's panel, uh, the social intellects. Uh, I'm just going to give credit to her because I am going to use part of her video in this live to basically, you know, kind of give you guys a better gist of what I'm talking about. But Jazzy originally came up on this panel before, and that's originally how they ended up falling out because Jazzy had said some things on this panel that I guess Liv didn't like. And that's originally how they fell out. If you guys want to check that video out, uh, I have that or I'll link that down below. But so, you know, it was kind of weird that Jazzy yet again decided to come on this girl's panel because, you know, the last time it started a bunch of drama. And I just think at this point now, you know, Jazzy is really trying to find some people on these YouTube streets that do agree with her. I do think that she is, you know, so tired of people you know talking and you know telling what's really going on with her that you know she just wants people who are on her side and this reactor uh typically seems to you know gear towards jazzy's side and you know speaking on things that the other reactors don't you know more of on jazzy's side than on the other side and you know that's fine everybody has their own opinions not everybody is entitled to you know think the same say the same things but you know preferably and most of the time a lot of people on these YouTube streets that do end up coming on here reacting to Jazzy are most of the time saying things, you know, that are not in, of course, Jazzy's favor. But, you know, these are the things that we see. These are the things that uh, we've continued to see for a long, long time on these YouTube streets. And I think that most of the time people try to bring attention to you know what's really going on behind the scenes and obviously we don't know what's going on behind the scenes but just bring attention to things that you know the people who do actually support these youtubers don't really tend to see so we know that you know for a while now since that whole live and jazzy situation went on a lot of people you know we're gonna see what was gonna come of it a lot of people thought that you know live was gonna end up spilling the tea and she did and she didn't end up spilling any tea but that's because these two girls both have a lot of dirt on each other so i don't really think that Liv, you know like jazzy so much that she just didn't want to spill her tea i think that in return Liv didn't want her tea spilled so you know it's kind of weird when the person or the host asked jazzy this certain question in this clip that i'm about to play and obviously, you know, a lot of people have been going back and forth on these YouTube streets for the past, you know, month or a few weeks. Uh, as soon as all that tea dropped about uh, Chris hitting on Jazzy and spitting on her. And, you know, I think a lot more people wanted to get to the bottom of it. And I think people wanted Jazzy to come to the Internet and, you know, kind of tell her story and tell her truth of what's going on. Because obviously something did go down that weekend that Jazzy didn't want to speak on because even after Liv came up here and she, you know, tried to basically tell all what happened without really telling it jazzy still didn't come up on here and she didn't deny anything and she didn't really say anything and sis you know i think at this point you know we know that if it happened once it's gonna happen again and i'm pretty sure it's happened many times before that so i think at this point now you know people are really trying to get out what is going on for the sake of the kids and you know i think jazzy is over there trying so so hard to be secretive and you know not really tell what going on but she knows that Liv does know so she's trying to you know really 
be on her p's and q's on these youtube streets about you know what's going on but you know the the truth of the matter is that it will eventually come out you know Liv doesn't really hold her tongue for too long i mean she may you know go a few months not spilling anything but i think it will take jazzy just saying one simple thing and the truth will come out but at this point sis you know you're trying to deflect and you're trying to blame reactors and you're trying to make it seem like you know people spin things and they just say things uh you know that have no meaning behind it when they say things about you and we make up things and we lie and we're jealous and we're bored and we need jobs and sis you say all these things but you don't say you know any truth or you know like the reactor in the clip i'm about to play told jazzy like sis you know you have a whole man on here that you've been with for three years you have a child by him and you just allowed somebody to come on the internet and basically say that he was spitting on you hitting on you and you don't even try to defend yourself or defend anything so it's really giving that you are uh trying to really hide and protect something over there big time and you know at this point people may say well what's the big deal she's not gonna leave you know he's not gonna leave her it's no point this is beating a dead horse but like i always say i think at this point you know people are truly concerned about the kids they're not really concerned about a woman who is just gonna keep lying and defending and deflecting for a man that they just can't get away from but let's get into this clip because it is a little bit long about about how she no longer wants to speak on live or speak on anything that has to do with them too because uh she does not want to have people take things and spin it the wrong way but when this reactor asked her did chris hit you did chris spit on you she didn't deny it she didn't say anything and it's really giving over there sis that he is either threatening you to not say a word about what's going on or you are just scared for your life or you were just you know that dumb and beat down by this man that you just will not say anything and just keep lying and lying and lying until like i said something will blow up in her face or these kids get taken out of their home or something happens so let's get into this clip and then we will talk about it that wasn't her motive you know what i'm saying well i think i maybe you might be getting my question confused with the whole uh chrissy situation maybe you're confusing it with that i guess maybe i need to clarify i was actually referring to the fact of when Liv came up here and told everybody after you guys fell out told everybody that um you know she was afraid for your life okay and that she had contacted your mother you know or your mother was involved with it and basically um she I stated that i mean if that was if that is true what you're saying i think that shit is weird that people want to just call my mom <laughs> like i'm just a yeah. little kid you know you know that's if that's true you know because i i don't know as far as that okay so you don't you don't really un, you don't know anything about what it is no I, that I, i'm I asking know. about because i and and anybody in the comments can you know or even one love or aisha y'all can clarify for me but um supposedly you know live you know when she came out here you know putting your business out there after you had already apologized to her for being on my panel or whatever you know she comes to the streets and then she tells everybody well she she was fearful for your life she was fearful for your life she literally thought that your life was in danger and in jeopardy and then she doubled back and said okay well even your mother you know reached out to her and was concerned that you know you were get, having hands being put on you and so you know we we didn't really hear anything else you know about the situation you know and that that was you know something that i felt like people really wanted to have more answers and so instead of them getting more answers they just use that as um i guess a, a talking point to say that yeah there really is dv situations going on in the household because look why would mama dukes reach out to olivia you know with concerns of you know jasmine having hands being put on her so my question is you know number one was that true and number two how does your mom feel about you know that narrative being pushed after the fact because we haven't heard anything else from your mom um, about I don't, claims I don't of dv about, with chris you know if what was her reaching out to olivia i, I don't know because she never even came to me about that you know or anything like that i didn't even know about that but um i think you know this is a hard like i said a hard situation i really don't want to speak on her like I said, mm -hmm. this one was more about me and i'm you know we talked we 
you know, talked about our, our lives, our past and stuff. So I kind of don't even want to talk about her. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's no respect, disrespect to nobody. That's just, you know, I feel like the way YouTube works, it can trigger people to get on here and say, start talking. That's, mm-hmm. let's just say like that. Like, and you know, it's, it's not even about, I'm not saying it's about, you know, I mean, cause me, me and Chris argued before we argued and you know, I she probably, said she said that Chris spit on you. Did he spit on you? No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. How do you say this? <clears throat> Cause I really don't, like I said, I don't want to speak on this person. I don't well, you don't have person. to speak. You don't have to speak on Olivia. Like this is a specific question to towards <clears throat> I know, but your relationship, like because to me, I feel like you know, if a person lies on your relationship, this is a man that you obviously are taking serious. You know, yeah, you're taking Chris things. very serious. So certain I would think that serious. if someone said, hey, my man or her man spit on her and he did this and he did that, no, you know, I'm if it's like not true, things. girl, you're not going to be able to come up here, talk shit, shit about my man. Yeah, but you got to also be, you know, mindful that certain things can trigger other things, meaning she can easily come on here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm not gonna, you know, no disrespect, but like bring anything up that has to like do with, deal with her. Because you just gotta be, you just can't just, I don't even know how to explain it. I just, I just so I, what you're saying is you don't, you don't want to confirm or you don't want to deny that he did or didn't do it. No, 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 no. I don't want to speak on the individual and what she said. I don't want to start up something that needs to... I'm reading out comments now. I don't want to start up something that needs to... That's going to start up a whole, you know, back and forth thing. So I'm not... I'm just not... I'm avoiding that completely by just not speaking on any of anything that has to do with that day that we, you know, had our phone. <laughs> Can I say something real quick? So as you guys heard in the clip, this woman just never fails to amaze me at how dumb she is. And, you know, it's really sad that you have women out here that get so brainwashed and controlled, especially by men who have nothing to offer, don't bring anything to the table. You know, this man is touching 40 and he has nothing to offer, nothing to give. He doesn't, uh, you know, he's not involved in any of his children's life. He doesn't do anything for his baby mothers. He doesn't do anything. And this woman will still come on here and try to, you know, praise and hide things from people that watch her every day, that have been watching her for years, that, you know, have studied her patterns and how she acts and, you know, the thing is she comes on here and acts like people do not know her from a can of paint they don't know anything you know about her uh they don't know anything about her past relationships and you know the situations that went down with her family her kids you know these people have been watching for years and years so you know of course people have noticed a change in you and have noticed that things have obviously changed with the kids and you know you have now your mother uh your friends your ex-best friends coming on here you know saying that they're scared for your life saying that you know they've tried to get you some help and you've refused and yet you still come on here to blame reactors and to say that people twist things and they lie but when somebody asked you did your your boyfriend spit on you and hit you you had nothing to say but you just didn't want people to spin anything now says how in the hell can somebody spin something about you saying that a man spit in your face or hit hit you the the proof and the truth is right there if he hits you then he hits you if he spit on you then he spit on you and you know the thing about it is though she wants so desperately to have friends and she wants to be liked so bad but the people who are in her life trying to get her help and be there for her and the friends that she has had the little friends or two friends that she did have got now pushed away by this man now you know her reputation on these youtube streets are even getting tarnished even more she's losing views she's losing supporters she's losing friends 
all for this bum who does not even care about her. I mean, doesn't even have the decency to come online and say, you know, I love this woman. I didn't do anything to her. You know, people may say things, but that's just talk. You know, people are going to say things nothing you know he has not came on to say anything since that incident he has not cared and by the way she's been going live all the time and you know just looking like she just is so lost and she just wants somebody to talk to so bad sis it's giving that you know whatever is going on or whatever anybody came on here to say is going on it probably times a hundred but you know the thing is i know a lot of people will say well if it was that bad kids would be speaking but you know it's just at this point now we don't know what is being done what is being said who knows what you know we know that if youtube knows the little things that we know that obviously the people that are in these kids lives every day like philip hannah you know philip's side of the family jazzy's mother their teachers their friends you know obviously these people probably know more than we know but you know i think that jazzy should be grateful that she has people people on here so concerned about her kids you know because obviously uh her family doesn't really seem to be to be bothered with it you know you would think that she would be happy but it seems like she's so mad that you know reactors do uh get concerned about her kids and you know the people that watch the reactors and things like that you know i would be lucky that i had people that were looking out for my kids like that but you know at the end of the day this all boils down to that her you know her little bum boyfriend over there is being talked about and she doesn't like that and of course you know she doesn't want to blame anybody but the people online that are you know bringing attention to it talking about it trying to you know not only get her maybe some help but her kids some help and i say maybe with her because you know this woman doesn't want help she just wants to be left alone in her abusive situation situation but wants people to also not talk about it but still make money and you know it doesn't work that way because sis you know you can find be over there in an abusive situation on your own and get beat on every day willingly but when you have kids involved in the home it's just not that easy and like I said, I do think that she is targeting reactors who do, you know, kind of speak positively on her and try to make excuses for her and her bum boyfriend. I do think that she is taking a liking to those people and trying to, you know, get on their side when really it doesn't matter because, you know, the people people who do react on here you know there's more people that aren't on her side uh than that are on her side so of course you know she's gonna try to hang on to what uh anything that she could hang on to to try to make herself seem like oh well you know there's somebody who likes me there's somebody who thinks i'm a good mother but sis we know and you know that you know this is not gonna play in your favor and you know by the end of it all you might not have your little boyfriend there anymore but really who cares and honestly we only care about the kids and i honestly really just wanted to post this video because you know it's really sickening in these youtube streets how grown women are just so scared of another grown woman like sis god darn what does Liv have over there on you that you are so petrified and scared about that you will not even say that woman's name even in a whisper it's giving that you know Liv knows all the real truth and if maybe she did spill her tea you know uh them kids won't be living there anymore so comment down below what you guys think about jazzy coming up on this reactors panel and trying to you know spin it to where people are just hateful of her and jealous of her when you know really we know and i know that that's not the case and you know i think at this point now jazzy is getting scared and she's trying to scramble to find people that she you know obviously aren't there and you know the truth will come out and Liv will eventually spill it but time will only tell and i'm sure Liv was over there laughing her ass off you know we know that Liv uh gets off on people being scared of her and her hanging things over people's head but comment down below you guys what you guys think i love hearing you guys thoughts and opinions thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for another one Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different